check this out. It's pretty cool. I have the real NSOD on my account and I've never farmed for it. Let's explain how that happened. Let's start with a small history lesson. So originally in the game, there was the Wheel of Doom. Well, the Wheel of Doom wasn't originally in the game, but the Wheel of Doom, the first implementation of the Wheel of Doom happened. This happened at a time when there wasn't NSODs in the game, VHL wasn't in the game, which Revenant was in the game. Like a lot of the end game stuff that you know of today didn't exist. The most like time investment you'd put into an item is like a Nolgaf item, like a Juggernaut item, a Nolgaf quest reward, or something similar to that. Uh, I think the Blinding Light of Destiny might have been in the game. <laughs> don't quote me on that. But that might have been like the... I, I don't even think that was in the game. I could be wrong. I don't think that was even in the game when the original Wheel of Doom was in there. Like there was barely anything, any hard farms to do in the game. Now fast forward to 2018. The Wheel of Doom gets reintroduced after being away from the game for I think at least like three, four years. Well, maybe longer. It wasn't in the game for that period of time. And in that period of time, they added all these farms to the game, like VHL, uh, NSOD, all that stuff. So we have all these uh, stat increasing items that take a long time to farm. So the Wheel of Doom gets reintroduced, and you can item a donate NSOD. And there is no IODA tag on these items. So now, if you item a donate NSOD right now, in current day 2024, it'll say tagged item a donate. And that makes it so you cannot use the item. To turn in for any quests that require the NSOD, you cannot have the badge on your character page that you get for farming the NSOD. Uh, it's the same stat-wise, it's functionally the same weapon, it looks the same and everything, but it just has this little tag, and the little tag keeps you from using it for other quests and stuff that require you to have it. So that gets implemented afterwards, uh, after 2018. There was a period of time for a short amount of time after they re-implemented the wheel of doom in 2018 where you could get the item of, uh you could get the nsod without the item of donation tag and if you were one of the few people i'm going somewhere with this if you're one of the few people that had this in 2018 before they implement the tag because that happened after the first implementation of the wheel because they weren't really thinking it through i guess so if you were one of the few people that got the weapon and then went to the nostalgia quest map and turned it into a dual wield like this weapon right here so if you had the dual wheel version which only eight-year-old accounts could do uh so if you're one of the few people that took your item of donate sod turned it into a dual wield and then they never tagged the dual wield with ioda because you had to merge it right so it's technically like a se separate separate entity its own weapon now, with the last update, I think, or the, maybe the update before that, maybe a week or two ago, they implemented a brand new shop into Nostalgia Quest where you can take your dual NSOD and turn it into a single NSOD. And what would, what, what would you think? It's the original. It gives you, so you can turn your dual back into the original. And of course, you can buy back the dual uh, like you should be able to. So... For a very, very few amount of people in the game, they could have got the legitimate NSOD illegitimately. I'm one of those very few people that that happened to, and I thought this is just an interesting little tidbit of lore for the game. Uh, it's funny when things like this happen in games where it's a very unintentional thing that happens uh, through a, a series of events that isn't very common at all for most players to run into so yeah that's why i have the nsod without ever farming it i actually did start farming it and i did intend on getting it at some point in the future uh so this does just save me some time to be honest but yeah i i have it now and i got it through basically reversing the nsod into a real the fake one into a real one somehow I was completely transparent when I did. I did it on stream, by the way, just uh, to get the NSOD. I thought it was really, really funny. Um, but I guess a lot of people didn't watch my stream. They were following me on Twitter, so I tweeted out. And so farm complete was pretty easy. <laughs> so uh, I don't... I'm, there was some people that watched the stream and knew. Uh, but a lot of people were unaware. So I don't think a lot of people know that you, you could have done this. That it was a thing you could do for a very small amount of people. But uh, uh, you got this guy thought I got someone to farm for me, 
Uh, by the way, I do have a lot of things farmed on my account. I don't even have all the badges for them because I don't really care about redeeming badges, but I do farm things like I farmed uh, Blinding Light Destiny most recently. Uh, I farmed the armor for Blind... The, what's the armor called? The 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 opposite of Blinding Light Destiny. It's in the same room. I farmed that as well. Uh, I farmed... Uh, I found a bunch of stuff like I have most of the class most of the birthday classes I have like Dragon of Time, uh, Archmage, like I do farms. I don't know why people think I don't. Anyway, um, glad to know you're not the only one delaying hardcore farms. So I think, uh, man, I remember back in the day my ADHD <laughs> gave up after farming for three. I, I did that the first time I tried to farm it too. This guy knows. Congrats. Took me two years of farming. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, I feel really bad about that. <laughs> This, ever, this guy's explaining how it is actually easy to do if you do it boosted, which is fair enough. It's actually more simple than you would think. Uh, and this guy actually knows. I, what, what is this? Cause, yeah, okay, this guy knows. So some people do, but I just thought it was kind of funny. I got 60 likes, and uh, I don't think a lot of people actually actually knew. So yeah, I thought I'd make this video to clear it up. I realized making this video is not a good look for me. It probably won't help my reputation or anything in the in the community at all. But I just think it's funny. I think this is the kind of stuff I'm really interested in. I like stuff like this in games where like weird events happen occur where things that aren't possible become possible because of that things just aligned in the right way and something happens. Like you shouldn't be able to get the NSOD legitimate. Like you shouldn't be able to get the real NSOD without actually farming it. But I have it. I think that's more, I think that's, that's pretty cool, to be honest, I don't know, uh, anyway, so, this video probably won't help me in, in any way, but I, I think it's interesting, so, there you go, thanks for watching, <laughs> now you know that I have a fake real NSOD, uh, a very convincing knockoff, if you will, <laughs> so, uh, thank you, thank you for watching, leave a like if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, hit that member button, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, leave a comment down below, what do you think? Do you think I should have it? Do you think they should take it away? Let me know what you think. Uh, I think I should have it. At, like, because I bought, when I purchased the NSOD with the Wheel of Doom, with the item donate, it, nobody had them, I'm, they weren't tagged. They added the tag to the one I purchased after the fact that I purchased it. It's like if you bought a blue car from a dealership and then the, the, the car dealer shows up to your house and paints it red. I bought a blue car. Anyway, enough of this. I'll see you next one. Peace. All the Fall games are extremely cheap right now on Steam. Fall New Vegas has 157,000 positive reviews. Overwhelmingly positive. Buy this game and play it. Do it. Uh, also, you can get Fall 76 for free on Amazon Prime if you want to play that. It's one of the worst Fall games, but it's, I've played way too much of it. It's not actually that bad, uh, to be honest, uh, for like an online thing, but... Nothing close to other Fallout games. Play them. Bye-bye.